Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me right here the new Tesla Model Y. This is the Midnight Sherry Red, but it doesn't matter because all Model Y are the same and the same size. And in this video, we will measure the trunk because I have so many questions from you for not only for Tesla cars, but also for other car brands. What are the size? What is the trunk size? And now I want to start kind of a series with all the cars that I will review when I, I, when I will have time. I will try to measure it and give you the, the measurement. So if you will buy the car, you will know exactly if the car and the trunk will fit for you. So now come closer and let's start measuring guys. All right guys, let's start. Because I don't have a cameraman to help me out with this video, it will be a little bit complicated, but I still hope I can give you some useful information from this video. First of all, let's start measuring. The measuring will be made in meters and centimeters and millimeters. So for those of you that are in USA, you will probably have to somehow yourself translate it or somehow convert it on the Google but if you go in the Google and write the centimeters to for example two inch then you can go on Google and you can do that without any problem anyway let's start first of all very important for most of you it's how long is the trunk and you probably know that you can actually adjust those seats depend how you want it and also it has some some uh, buttons here in order to fold it down completely if you want to do that but keep in mind that you can also fold the seats you can adjust the seats a little bit backward or straight like it is right now and in this moment let me go here in this moment the seats are completely straight are in first position straight so that's something to keep in mind so first of all let's go all the way down if we go all the way down in the middle we will have 110 centimeters this is the result of the longness so keep in mind they are centimeters one 110 centimeters if we go a little bit higher here for example and if i look better here on the higher end we have around 95 so you will have a little bit less and if we go all the way up because here it's ending the trunk we will have even less space so i will say around if i go all the way down i will have around 76 77 centimeters on the upper side right here now again very important this area right here and i will go directly in the middle so you can make an idea from all the way down until here it's around 55 centimeters okay 55 centimeters in the middle and if you go on the edges here all the way on the edges uh, will be around like 40 centimeters I should say around 40 maybe a little bit less and if you go all the way up here for example in the corner you will have like usable I should say let me let me put it a little bit more straighter you will have usable around 64 centimeters and in the middle from all the way up until until down you will have around 69.5 centimeters higher here so those are the 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 most important numbers i should say then if we go on the on the side here and if we try to measure the side we will see that the car have around 95 centimeters 95 centimeters uh, wider so exactly in the middle and here we have even more if you go all the way on the side completely completely on the side we have like 148 centimeters wow this is incredible so if you want to carry long items in this area here you can do it without any problem now if we go down here very very um, also very useful and very important this area here so come a little bit closer and i will try to show you also this down there it there are a lot of stuff here but i will try to manage to go down here down here we have like 37 centimeters 37 centimeters deepness so you have a deepness here in this extra trunk 37 centimeter a lot a lot of space if we go like this we have like 45 cent 44 
let me go if you go a little bit down you will have less space but i will go directly in the middle because in the middle is the most important so we have like 42.5 centimeters the wide here how wide it is and if we go on the side how long i should say i don't know how to call those but let's try this out also i will try it exactly in the middle we have like 78 78 centimeters on the side so yeah this is something to keep in mind good now the great part on tesla model y is that you have another extra storage on the upper side there and i like the fact that you can put those like that and there you have an extra storage space i think you can see it there let me show you first of all just like that and then let me measure it you have to keep in mind all those measurements that i told you uh, i hope you can make an idea so actually the 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 tallness of this one let me put it again to make an idea so first of all it comes until there if you want to see how tall it is i should say it's around 13 centimeters tall and in terms of longness wide eh? let me see how wide it is i think it's kind of the same yeah maybe it's kind of complicated this space here to to measure around four, 76 centimeters and if you go like wide it's like it's like let me see it's around 49 centimeters so those are the measurement with the trunk let me put everything back so i hope you get some idea now what i will do i will fold down the seats from here just like that you have those cool buttons and if you look from the camera i think you can see it's almost a flat floor there and now this is crazy important this is my driving position of the seats there so i'm 173 centimeters you can go even in the back a little bit more but for the driver's side if we go all the way in the back here we have like 91 centimeters it's it's crazy wow it's super long if you go in the middle i guess it's yeah it doesn't matter in the middle too much but keep in mind you can carry big items without any problem like over two meters you can see right there in the middle from the vents i should say it's around two meters and three centimeters crazy 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 and i guess that was all i don't know if i somehow miss something but it's incredible in terms of the entrance in the trunk this is this is one of the most practical look how big is the entrance it's crazy crazy practical the only thing and i think it's very important for you that i also show you a little bit earlier was how tall uh, the entrance was and i show you uh, a little bit earlier this is really important so it's like 69 centimeters and then it's very important also how wide it was and if we test it exactly in the middle here it's like almost one meter 98 centimeters on the down part so it's it's relatively relatively useful but keep in mind also if you go as you go a little bit in the trunk a little bit more in the trunk you will get more space so like 56 and then here you have even 40 48 i should say crazy crazy practical now the only thing that left it's the front let's go in the front i want to show you the front and then if you have question keep in mind this is my first video and i do it myself and it's kind of complicated but i hope you can get some idea about the measurement and the space here in the trunk but if you have feedbacks and tips how to do that or if i miss something write me in the comments i will be happy to add it in the next video so yeah let's go in the front so here in the front the things are a little bit more simple because it's just uh, a trunk so you can see it first of all the way it looks and then let's measure it very important how tall it is on the on the front part on the back part here it's a little bit more taller so i guess you can you can also um, fit in here up to 36 centimeters and then if we go here on this uh, on the other side we have a little bit less space like around 28 centimeters and then if we go to see how long it is it's like 85 centimeter i should say and then in this way we have like 
39 in the middle down it's like 35 but in the middle exactly in the middle is like 38 39 so centimeters so i guess this is it it's quite complicated to measure it exactly because if you come closer and look at it you will see that this trunk this design of the trunk is not completely square so it has like here it's a little bit less space here it's a little bit longer and then on the side the same story here it's a little bit longer and all the way down it's a little bit shorter and the same 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 uh, story apply also in the trunk but overall i hope you get an idea about the trunk space and how big it is so uh, if you still have question ask me in the comments um, i hope the video was useful and yeah don't forget to like share subscribe also if you want to buy a tesla or solar panels no matter what model i will leave the referral link in the description and also on the screen so thank you for watching don't forget to like share subscribe if you want to see more of those kind of videos with all the cars on the market i will measure the trunk and the space and if you have also extra ideas i will be happy to hear you out so see you in another video guys stay safe bye